mitosis and meiosis mitosis conserve the number of chromosomes as a result of division of one cell into two cells the two daughter cells which are produced from the mother cell or from the parent cell they are genetically identical to the mother cell while in case of meiosis the diploid number are produced are reduced to haploid number in case of meiosis a single cell which is initially diploid and has two set of chromosomes as a result of meiosis single cell produces four haploid cells but all these haploid cells they are not genetically identical to each other and they are not identical to the parent cell the mechanism of separating the chromosomes in case of mitosis and in case of meiosis where the chromosomes they separate during the anaphase the chromosomes separate from the centromere in case of mitosis the same procedure in case of meiosis too the chromosomes sister chrom uh, chromatids they separate from each other so this is the similarity between these two that during the mitosis uh, centromere divides and the sister chromatid separate a uh, same is in case of meiosis too where during the anaphase centromere divide and the sister chromatids they are separate if we see in this diagram a comparison between mitosis and meiosis initially there was a parent cell this parent cell has six number of chromosome and this parent cell is diploid because it is 2n and has six chromosome and there are pair of three chromosome three chromosomes they are homologous to each other what will happen in case of mitosis in case of mitosis dna will be replicated and each chromosome will produce its sister chromatid while in case of meiosis after the duplication of the chromosomes the chromosomes they will be paired with each other and form the homologous chromosome if we do the comparison at the level of metaphase during metaphase the chromosomes will be aligned in the middle of the chromosome and same will be in case of meiosis chromosome will be aligned in the middle but here during metaphase one of the chromosome has a face towards one pole while the second chromosome has face towards the second pole as a result of mitosis and meiosis in case of mitosis during anaphase and telophase the single cell will be converted into two cells it will produce two cells but each of the cell will be 2n that is diploid each cell contain six chromosome and there were the six chromosome in the mother cell but in case of meiosis on the other hand each cell at the end of meiosis 1 meiosis 1 each cell contain three chromosomes three in cell 1 and three in cell 2 as a result of meiosis 2 there will be four cells because the each cell will produce two daughter cells and this process that is meiosis 2 is like the mitosis each cell will be divided into two cells and there will be four haploid cells at the result of mitosis we have seen that the cells they are diploid they are 2n but at the end of the meiosis we have seen there are four cells and each cell is haploid these cells if we see that they are not genetically identical to each other because their fragments have been changed due to the process of crossover if we do the comparison between meiosis and mitosis in case of meiosis that consist of two stages meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 during meiosis 1 the number of chromosomes in the daughter cells they will be haploid if there are six chromosomes in the uh, mother cell 
in each of the daughter cell there will be three chromosomes while in case of mitosis dad produces two cells if the cell is diploid then the daughter cells which will be produced from the mother cell they will also be diploid have the same number of chromosomes but in case of meiosis there will be four cells and each cell will be haploid has one set of chromosomes and they will not be identical to each other